I ran those retirement numbers we talked about. Yeah, you see it? So I think there are a couple of approaches we can take here. We came to manage over $800 billion in assets through FaceTime on your terms. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. It's time for the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. Joining us this week inside the Edward Jones Tiger Cage is defensive lineman Walter Brady being recognized for his performance against UConn on the field on Saturday. And you had two sacks, your first two sacks of your career. That must have been quite the thrill to finally get in the sack column. Uh, yes, it was definitely a tremendous step for me moving forward in my career. Um, I still have a lot of work ahead of me, though. You've got a lot of people to look up to here uh, with this D-Line Zoo tradition. Who have you really latched onto over the course of the last year? Your, your redshirt uh, freshman season last year, or your redshirt season last year now as a redshirt freshman. Who are you really learning from? Uh, well, definitely Charles Harris because, um, I mean, be, being with him every day, being around him, seeing the type of work, work ethic that he has and the motor that he has, you know, it's really, it's, not, it's hard not to uh, follow him around and learn how he does things. He's not the only one. There are a lot of uh, talented players in that room right now. And, and every single time you step into that D-line room, you see the, the jerseys of the guys who are in the NFL now. You see the All-Americans in the, the All-American hallway. Uh, when people ask you what D-line zoo means to you and, and what it's like to have that kind of tradition in front of you, what do you tell them? Well, first, it, it means family. Um, knowing that our group, it's, it's, it's our, we have our own organization. and. Um, we're one big family, we're a brotherhood, um, and everybody in that room is very talented, and we know why we're here, and we know what we have to do to carry on the tradition that was passed down to us. You've got a great position coach in, in Craig Kuligowski. What have you really learned from him over your year plus in this program? It's a lot, it's a lot to gain uh, from him. He's a, he's a very great coach, and he has a lot of good information and a lot of techniques that help develop great players that you've seen over in, in Mizzou over the past few years. You're from Florence, Alabama, which you were telling me before we came on the air, is uh, the northern part of the state near Tennessee. Uh, how did Mizzou get on your radar and what brought you to Columbia? Um, I'm not really sure how they found me. Uh, that, that, that part is still amazing to me, but um, I chose to come here because it was a great environment for me and I knew that I had to grow up and get a little bit, you know, out there in the world and out of my comfort zone to really be able to be successful. Mizzou's pretty good at that, too. They find those diamonds in the rough. Would that also encourage you to come up here knowing that there, there are uh, guys like that in the past? Definitely, definitely seeing Coach Cool's uh, track record definitely helped me make my decision, uh, help make my decision a lot easier. And knowing that the guys uh, that have been here and that have played here over the years for him have went on to have successful careers. Well, Walter, thanks a lot for stopping by. We appreciate your time. Thank you. And a big thanks to our sponsor, Edward Jones, a proud supporter of Mizzou Athletics. For more information or to find your nearest Edward Jones financial advisor, just visit edwardjones.com. Is it our insightful strategies that make Edward Jones one of the country's biggest financial services firms? Or 13,000 financial advisors who say thank you? It's why Edward Jones is the big company that doesn't act that way.